Once upon a time, in a deep, dense forest, there lived a little girl named Goldilocks. She was known for her golden locks of hair that sparkled in the sunlight. One day, while exploring the forest, Goldilocks stumbled upon a small, cozy cottage. Curiosity got the best of her, and she decided to see who lived inside. As she approached the cottage, she noticed something peculiar. There were not three bears, as the storybooks always mentioned, but four bears. Goldilocks was intrigued. She cautiously entered the cottage and discovered that it was empty. The scent of porridge filled the air, drawing her towards the kitchen. On the kitchen table, she found four bowls of porridge. One big, one medium, one small, and one tiny. Goldilocks, being a hungry little girl, couldn't re little girl, couldn't resist the temptation. She tasted a spoonful from the big bowl, but it was too hot. She tried the medium bowl, but it was too cold. The small bowl was also too hot, but when she reached the tiny bowl, it was just right. Goldilocks happily finished the porridge in the tiny bowl and decided to explore the rest of the cottage. In the living room, she found four chairs. One big, one medium, one small, and one tiny. Goldilocks tried sitting on the big chair, but it was too hard. The medium chair was too soft, and the small chair was just right. But when she sat on the tiny chair, it broke into pieces. Goldilocks frowned and decided to continue her exploration. Upstairs in the bedroom, she found four beds. One big, one medium, one small, and one tiny. She climbed onto the big bed, but it was too firm. The medium bed was too soft, and the small bed was just right. However, when she climbed onto the tiny bed, it collapsed under her weight. Goldilocks sighed and wondered how these bears managed to live in such a mismatched cottage. Curiosity still burning within her, Goldilocks decided to investigate further. She walked towards a closed door she hadn't noticed before. Carefully, she turned the doorknob and entered the room. Inside, she found four bears of different sizes. The biggest bear had a gruff voice and a stern expression. The medium-sized bear appeared to be quite friendly, with a warm smile. The smallest bear was shy and timid, while the tiny bear seemed mischievous and playful. Goldilocks introduced herself to the bears, and they welcomed her kindly. She asked them about the mismatched furniture and why they each had their own set. The biggest bear explained that they were a family of bears, but they had different preferences when it came to comfort. The biggest bear loved the firmness of the big bed. The medium-sized bear preferred the softness of the medium bed. The small bear enjoyed the coziness of the small bed, and the tiny bear loved the excitement of the tiny bed, even if it meant breaking it occasionally. The bears laughed and shared their porridge, chairs, and beds with Goldilocks. They realized that their differences made their family unique and special. Goldilocks, too, learned the importance of accepting and respecting others' preferences. From that day forward, the four bears and Goldilocks became the best of friends. They spent their days exploring the forest together, sharing meals, and playing games. Goldilocks realized that it wasn't important to have everything just right, but rather to cherish the diversity and individuality of those around her. And so, the tale of Goldilocks and the Four Bears became a legend in the forest, reminding everyone of the beauty in embracing differences and finding harmony in the most unexpected places.